Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to another episode of Pencil Puzzles. Hope you're doing well. Today we are playing a killer Sudoku puzzle. This one is on Simon Tatum's app. I'll try to remember to link down below in the description. And it comes from Hugo B Designer, who said, I tried this killer Sudoku thrice now and can't get more than two given digits. I wonder how well you can do. Hugo was toying with the idea of trying to set up a daily Sudoku challenge within our community. And uh, he was looking to generate this one randomly using the date. So I think the seed he used was um, 2020-04-11, because that's the day um, yesterday when they tried to run this puzzle. But um, yeah, we're going to take a look, see what we can do. I'm also going to start a timer, because unfortunately the Simon Tatum app um, doesn't include a timer. So we can see how long we start. But without further ado, let us start. The timer is running. So unlike Sudoku.com, um, there is no um, single given digits on this one. So we're going to be looking for a start at some pairs to see what we can identify and eliminate straight away. So sevens and sixes, which is interesting. And OK, so looking across the bottom here, we can see this the only connected digit outside of this row. So we could probably do something here. We've got 13 and 7 is 30, 39, 39 and 7 is 46, which means that is going to be a 1, which will unwind those two there. That has to be a 1 because 46 is 1 greater than the 45, which is in any block, column or row. So let's carry on and let's see what else we can see here. So now a one and two is I don't know from that doesn't help us there. So for one and two is ice is already placed. That means here we can only have a seven three, uh, four six. So the only combinations that can go in these boxes here. The only combinations left to make ten. Ones and twos don't have any impact on the thirteens unfortunately. So we can't do anything with that at the moment and trying to scan down some of these rows and columns everything's quite disjointed at the moment there are block. okay we should probably do something here as well because this block we have one digit here outside the block 26, 36, 36 and 9 is, no, that can't be right, 26, sorry, 26, 36, 39, 48, that's got to be a 3, and that's going to be a 6. So now we can rule out the 6s and the 4s, which gives us a 3, 7 pair there. So now that we've got... These two here, we know it's a four nine or an eight five. So we'll pencil those in. Thing that I'm not a fan of with this app is that pencil mark tool doesn't stay on. You have to press it for each and every thing. I quite like to work in pencil marks a lot of the time. Um, all right, so let's see what else we've got. So here, we know here, okay, so we can rule out something from here. So the seven, the only way to make seven with three given digits is one, two, and four. I know that, so therefore, this has to be two, four. And this is ramifications here, so that makes that the five, eight, and this the four, nine. We have all our given digits there, so we can work out what the 17 is. And the 17 we've made up of a one, a seven, and a nine. One, seven, nine. And of course, we can't place one there, so this becomes a seven, nine. And we know that this can't be a nine because of the eight, nine constraint here. Okay. So looking up here again, this 13 is going to be the same as these ones here. It's going to be a five, eight, four, nine. I'm not going to mark that in just at the minute. I think we need to. So let's have another look. Fours are here and here. We know a four's going to go in the top. 
So we could have that one of these tens is a four six. We don't have enough to rule anything out there. Or it could be there, and then we need to make 11 with two other digits. Let's keep looking. See what else we can see. So six can only be made one of two ways with one, five, four, two. Seven's more interesting because it could be made um, three different ways, one, six, two, five, four, three, but we don't have any of those digits there to rule that out. And you obviously know that um, this 10, 10 could give us something. We know, well, we know it's got to be either seven, three, four, or six, because this eight and this nine restrict an eight, two, and a nine, one. So we will pencil those in. Fourteens can only be one of two things. It can be a nine, nine, five, or an eight, six. Scan in just to see else. Got three digits here outside of this block, so we can't. I just want to see if we could like put those two together. Um, sometimes what you can do is when you've got, I mean, we could work out what these two digits are here. So, because of this three here, and then I don't know if that would tell us anything. We have a 10, 27, uh, 42. One. That's 32, 42. All right, hold on. Oh, no, wait, wait a minute. That's a 17. Yeah, sorry. Let me start again. Um, 25, 28, 38. 45, 55. So these two cells have to add up to 10. Given that we already know that that's either a 7 or a 9, we know this has to be it's um, the counter for 10. That has to be a 1 or a 3, which means this here has to be 9 or 7. We already know that that 7 is blocked off there. We can place a 7 and a 3 there. No, we can't place a 3. Ah, okay. Let me just. Why would I place a seven? If a seven can't go there, why would I place a seven? That is a stupid thing to say, Knock. It needs to be a nine and a one. One, please. One. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. So. That would then say nines have to go there. This becomes a one seven pair. Just check. Let's check the math on this now because we can check this block. So we've got 10, 25, 35. Hold on, no. That would mean eight. So eight, sorry, I need to focus. Eight, three is 11, 21, 36, plus nine is 45. Okay, I think that logic holds up. I'm sure we'll find out later on in the puzzle. So we know fours are here or here. Twos are here and here. That's a four two pair. This leaves this as a five six eight triple. Probably do more with this in a minute if we do some math. So we know obviously a two or a four. So we've either got to make 13 or 11 well we can make 11 and we can make 13 okay so it's either a 5 6 or a 5 8 but what we know is it's definitely got to be a 5 so we can rule out a 5 from here because obviously as well we could have done that before because a 5 cannot be used to make 10 in a in two blocks there we've got that there that there okay so let's move across to this row this block here Think about our numbers here will be a five, six, eight. Uh, 
And then in here we'll have a seven three. Well, I already know that you can't use a three to make 15 with two. So that's going to be a seven. That's going to be an eight. Move the eights from there. 13 will make either a seven or an eight. Okay, uh, that becomes three. So we need to make 11. Well, the only way to make 11 with one five and six is to use another five and six here. So that becomes a five, six pair there. The five, six across three blocks there. Obviously that number and that number will be the same, but we don't know which way around that is at the moment. Okay, 10 minutes in and uh, Managed to place quite a few numbers, so I'm happy with the progress so far, but let's carry on. Six. I don't know anything else. I'm just looking here to see if there's any any blocks or anything we can use this information at now. The seven here is both of these sevens can't contain a one on this side. That's about all we know. I feel like I'm neglecting like the top end of this puzzle at the minute. We should probably look towards the top a little bit more. A lot of digits like spinning over into this column two, which isn't helping me at the minute. So look and see if there's any bigger numbers that we can use to. Okay, well. This is interesting because this is an eight and a nine. We know the eight's either here or here. I oh, know. Okay. No, it's fine. All that means is it can't be. Yeah, no. It's all right. Ignore me. I'm going to carry on. It's got to be, though, it does have to be use an eight or a nine on this 13. Because of the six here stops it being a six seven. So here you'd have eight nine, and the counters are five and four. Four five eight nine. All we're going to know by solving this though, unfortunately, is that it's going to limit one of the pair. Well, limit the pairs to being one way round. So we don't know enough about that. But what I can say here, we can take out an eight from here. Because this eight nine has to be sit here, so therefore we can't place an eight there. Right, so what don't we have down here? Um, you know that ten can't be a one and nine. It's about it. That's the only kind of any digit that's the same across both this column and this column at the minute that we've got. Let's look here. So we've got a five and a six. So this can't be a five, three or a six, two. So this has to be a seven, one. Only other combination of eight with two digits. So we know we've got to place a seven one down here. Therefore, we know a seven's got to go in there. We know one's got to go in one of these columns here, other than this one here. This whole block here actually is quite interesting to me. Just trying to think four. This the across these six cells here, I know they're in different blocks, but they're all going to use the low numbers, <clears throat> the six low numbers between one and six. So if that was if that was one five. Hold on, maybe we need to think. Yeah, no. I know I'm just waffling again. How many ways can we make nine with three digits? I think there's two ways, six, two, one. Six, two, one. 
five. There's more than that. Three ways. So six, two, one. Six, two, one. Five, three, one. Four, two, three. So that's not particularly helpful. Five, six, seven, and eight. Um, can I relate this to that 14 at the top in any way? Be a six and seven. This was a six and seven. That would have to be five and nine. That was an eight and five. That would have to be a six. Oh, eight and five. That can't be an eight and five. Okay, so that can't be eight and five. Let me just go through this, because if that was eight and five, that would rule out one of each of the, the set one of each of the numbers from these two pairs here. So this becomes a seven six, which then resolves that as a five six. Now, because we've done that, we can rule this as a five nine. Because we can't use the eight six. Okay. Now, what does that tell us about this 11 here? It could be an 8-3. It's got to be, this has got to be an 8-3. Meaning this is a 2-4 to pair off that and that. Okay. That's a good little observation. Can't be seven and five, could be eight and four. Only one way round. Okay, so this is an eight and four. Is it only one way round though? Uh, no, it could be either way round. You think though, because this two and four is interesting. So let me just rule out everything else. It can't be the seven and five. We can't use a nine and three because the three is here. So yeah, it has to be eight and four. So let's pencil that in. So eight and four, which leaves us with what here? Well, we can't use a two again. I think that's gonna force a two in there. Two, four, two, nine. Yeah, that's right, yeah, okay. Nine, two, four, two. It's eight and nine. Uh, the eight from here and the nine from here, which means we can't, we can do eight and four here. Sorry, nine and four. Hold on. I can't put a nine there. Then that can't be a four. Um, sorry, I'm not used to the controls here. So this needs to be an eight and four. Because the eight can't go there, so the five can't go there. Okay. So that's limited that down substantially. Six, five, and two. Let me tell us a lot about here. Other well, than we know an well, we know an eight's got to go here somewhere. One. One. Three. Four. Eight, five, it's five. I was just trying to work out the other number that I was missing. It's five. Five is definitely in here somewhere. But we know that already. Five and one. Okay, so the five is here. We know the five can't place in the six. Because the one's here. So we can't place one in there to make that five, six. We also know that we can't place it here. Because we can't place the two there because of this two here. So the five has to go here. The two has to go there. And does that tell me anything else? The answer is no. Not at the minute, other than the four there and a two there. Okay. So if there's three, four, or a one, six. Be a six, one that way around. Four's on both sides, unfortunately. So can't do a lot more with that just at the minute. Finish off the 
uh, pencil mark though for this box here. Four, eight, and three. Three, four, eight. Okay. Sometimes when you've put in these the pencil marks, so it's a good idea to sort of then rescan like the columns and the rows to see if there is anything that you can now take like the pencil numbers, try and work out your other digits. But um, at the minute, I'm not seeing anything. Obviously, we know that there's an eight in here, but we don't know if it's a three or a four. And sevens. We know seven's got to make up the 19. Know that. What other numbers are? So do we know that? We don't know that at all. Because seven's go there. Okay, let me take them out because that's not right at all. All right, so four and eight would leave, that's 12, so that would leave two. Can't place two there, so it's not a four and eight here. Three and four would be 11, so that could be a three, or it could be a seven. We know a three has got to go here, so sh this has to be seven. Then we have to place three and four here, so the eight's going to be there, the five's going to be there. Take away the eights from here. And then we've got three and four there. That means this has got to be a one six. And then our remaining digits, well, they've got to place a nine on there because we can't place a nine and an eight. And then that's going to be a two. That's going to be a six. Okay, what digits have we got left here? Three, four, and seven. We know there at the moment, sevens. There, we need to make 10 in this, this here with the remaining digits. We've got a six and a four, which we can use. We could also use a three and seven. But only selective. So threes can go there, four, six. Here could be seven, four, Okay, we can't use seven. This is a four six because I've got a three here, which is stopping that. So take away the three there. Take away the four six here. Take away the four six here. This has got to be a seven because we can't place seven in a six or a seven dual candidate cell. That becomes that. We'll take away our three from there. That's an eight. That should be an eight. That's a three there. An eight's there and a four's there. Placed here is a one and four. Probably unwind that a little bit more. So that would have to be a four or a two. Well, it can't be a two. I think with a four, so that's a five one. And this is a four three. This is a six four. This is a six one. Things are unwinding. I'm very nervous though because this doesn't have any um this doesn't have any error checking. So I'm very nervous that I haven't made a mistake. So I am prone to making mistakes. Okay, so here we're gonna have a three. Can't be a two. So the nine's gotta have a two in it at least. Two, three, and six. Well, it can't be a six there. So uh, we've got to place, this is a three. That's going to make that a nine. Take away the three. Twos and sixes are there. Twos and six is eight. That's going to make that a one. Seven, one there. Two, 
six, five, nine, five, and nine. Okay, we're getting close. Fours and sevens means five and eight. Well, we can't place an eight. That's a seven, five. So this becomes threes and fours. Can't place a six here. So that becomes threes and sevens. This becomes fours and eights. This becomes a five and an eight. And take away the six from here. Five and eight there, five and six. Just scanning these to see if we've got anything that we've placed. This becomes a six or an eight. It has to be an eight because we can't pair a six with itself. So that's an eight, that's a four, that's a six, that's a five, and that's an eight. And what we've we got left in here, two and a six. Ones and sevens. Ones and fives. Threes and sevens. Two, three, four. We've got the three, so that's a four and a three. That's a four and a nine. I think we're good. That's a two. And do that, please. That's a two, that's a six. And this, to finish it off, becomes a nine and a two. Stop. Does that mean we solved it? I think that means we solved it. And our time on the clock was 26, 21, 53. Doesn't say, I'm just looking at the instructions here. But yeah, I think that's it. I think that's right. So there we go, guys. There is my attempt at uh, Hugo's Killer Sudoku puzzle. Thank you very much for suggesting. If anybody has got any um, puzzle suggestions, please do leave them in the comments and I will happily take them on board and uh, give them a go. Um, definitely, I've found my feet with Killer Sudoku without a doubt. But uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. Happy gaming.